Hello everyone, welcome back to another how to tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the TikTok app on Windows. To start off, scroll down to the bottom of the taskbar and click the search icon. At the top, there's a large search box. Type in Microsoft Store. Look for the app icon, it should be there, click it. Wait for it to load. And finally, make sure you're signed in. And on this app at the top, there's another search box. Click it. Now type in TikTok. There should be a TikTok app logo. Click it. Now there should be the big blue coloured button with the words, the single word, sorry, get. You're left with no other option but to click it. It is now installed on your Windows PC. Click the open button to obviously open it. Now the app's going to ask for certain permissions and well, installed permissions first. If you want to put it to the taskbar, put it to the taskbar, put it to start, create a desktop shortcut, auto start on device login. You can decide which one you want to do, which thing annoys you least or thing you prefer and then click allow and uh, accept all the cookies pop up and uh, I'm going to click this to do a full screen TikTok wants to show notification this is something else if you want to be notified of I would assume followers likes and uh, depending on your notification settings the desktop this app's asking for permission. Probably I would go with allow, but it's up to you if you want to block it, but I'm gonna go with allow. And there's one thing left to do is to click the login button. Now you have to sign in as you would with your credentials. I'm gonna pause for a second. You can sign in with multiple options from Instagram, Apple, Twitter, Google, Facebook. QR code. I personally use the phone, email, usery. Click that. Now there's the option to do the phone number into your phone number, of course changing your region, where you are. I'm going to sign in with an email and password. Now I'm going to pause yet again. Once you've added your email address or username and password, finally click log in. Oh, of course, if you've got two-step verification, you'll have to wait to receive a text, come up with details, enter your six-digit code. Once you've entered your six digit code, click, ne click next. Login successful. And there you are, signed right into your account. I'm going to go to my profile page just to, there's a lot of new features being rolled out so they'll give you notifications inside the app. But that's it. That's it. We've finally done it. With a few little hiccups from time to time. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, could you please leave a like? That would be great. If you if you like it. And if you'd like to be updated with more videos, I would be grateful if you could subscribe to the channel. And finally, if you want to, you may not all want to, but if you want to be kept up to date to the very almost no near notification, instant notifications 
when a new video becomes available on YouTube, you can click that notification bell. That will give you notification on your phone to when a new one, when one of my new videos has just been released. But if you want to do that, it's up to you. And that's it. That's it we've done. I want to thank you again for taking your time to watch this video to the very end. That's grateful. And I um, hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.